Uh, good morning, Math Workshop. So uh, today is Monday, the 10th of August, and today we're going to be revising doubles and near doubles, and we're also revising using a number line and working towards using the jump strategy. So first of all, looking at a little quick bit of revision. So doubles. Doubles when you've got two numbers which are the same. And for these here, we, we should have some basic facts where we look at it and almost just know them just like that. So the first one is, now, firstly, I want you to say the number out loud, okay? So 3 plus 3 is, that's right, 6. 4 plus 4 is, that's it, 8. 6 plus 6 is, that's right, say it out loud, 12. So those first three are doubles. And and doubles uh, in this math group should be like basic facts. You have to do them in your head without doing this here. If any of these got you stuck, or if any of the ones that you're about to do in the worksheet get you stuck, I actually want you to go back and practice them a few more times until they do become the, uh, answers that you just know. This next one is a near double. Now, 6 plus 7, it is a near double to two things. It could be a near double to 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. It could also be a near double to 7 plus 7. So as you do this one here, I want you to think about which one are you going to do the near double to? It's going to be the near double to 6 plus 6, because 6 plus 6 is, that's it, 12, and it's one bigger. So 13 is the answer. Or it could be 7 plus 7 is 14, and it's one less, so the answer is 13. So looking at near doubles. This one here, 8 plus 8 is 16, and that is a double. And the near double, 8 plus 9 is, that's it. 9 is one bigger than the 8, so it's 8 plus 8 plus that little bit one different is, that's it, 17. So, doubles and near doubles. What I want you to do now is practice these in this, in this sheet here. should be working through this very fast. Again, set a timer, about 5 minutes. At the end of 5 minutes, I want you to push pause and get ready to move on to the next activity. So, pause the video now five minutes of this activity and then come back for the next bit of learning. Okay, well welcome back. So hopefully you, you did those doubles and near doubles very quickly. We're now going to be revising a number line. So draw one on the board here going from 0 to 15 but actually got the arrow there that it does keep on continuing on. And uh, first first sort of question here and again this is revision so it's I know you probably already got the answers in your head but I want you to make sure you're using the strategy correctly. So 4 plus 5 so the answer is, yes, I know, 9. But I want you to pause on knowing the answer for a bit and just check the strategy. So 4 plus 5. So we start at the 4, and then we go plus 5. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the answer is, yep, that's it, 9. And we already knew that. But we're using the strategy of jumping on to show us how it's working. So 4 plus 5, yes, equals 9. 15 take away 3. So here we start at the 15. Now when it was the plus, we moved to the right. When it's a subtraction, we move to the left. 15 take away 3. Now I know you could work it other ways, but again, using the number line strategies. At the 15, take away 3. 1, 2, 3, and that's it. The answer is 12. 17 take away 4. Now you'll see here we've got something wrong. A number line doesn't go this far. And the reason I put this one here is actually to, to show you how to use it just in a blank book when you don't perhaps have a number line already written for you, but how to use the strategy easily. So 17 take away 4. So I'm just going to put 17 over here. Now it's going to be take away 4. So we're moving to the left. So 17. 16, 15, 14, 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4 gives us 13. So 17 take away 4 equals 13. You see how I use the number line. So I'm starting at the 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, jumping backwards. Now again, this is I know that the numbers are in there, and I know, and if and if I wasn't too sure and I want to just check, I could actually write them in. And you can do it both ways, either just jumping like that if you're feeling happy about it, or you can write the numbers that you are jumping backwards to do it. 
uh, 22 plus 3. So again, our number line doesn't go that high. So to show you how to do it just in our books, 22 plus, we're going to put 22 here, and it's plus 3. So it's jumping to the right. So 22, 3 jumps, and that gives us the, and I'm going to write it in a, so we've got the 23, 24, 24, that's it. 22 plus 3 equals 25. So we did the three jumps to the right. Um, now what I've got is this sheet here is very similar to what we've just done there. So it's going to be looking at using the number line to actually solve these questions. Part The next part that you're going to be working on is actually it's already got the picture of a number line and you have got to write the number sentence to match. So if this one here, I'm going to show you how that works. So if we were at 3, and we were going, and you saw this here. So notice which way the arrow is going. So 3, moving to the right up to 12. So my number sentence is going to be 3, that's where I'm starting, plus... And this is where there's going to be a blank equals 12. And then you would answer that 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 equals 12. And that is the number sentences that match that picture. So for this page here, you're going to be doing the number sentences you be writing them into this box that match the picture. Take very careful note of which way the arrows are pointing. So, another one, if the, if the arrow was pointing a different direction, I'll do this one in red just so we can sort of see. 11, and the arrow is going that way. So the number sentence this time is going to be starting at the 11, take away something equals 3. And then we can work that out. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. How many jumps do we have to do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. Take away 8 equals 3. And that is the number sentence that matches this picture here. Great. So you can work on those two, two, two worksheets now. And uh, see you again on Tuesday. Have a nice day. Bye.